our eyes go straight to that golden glow. And then you might wonder, but why haystacks? Claude Monet painted haystacks in French moules a lot. Variously called just stacks or grain stacks, he painted them at various times of the day and year. If you're thinking like most of his artistic predecessors, you would think that instead he might want to paint something dramatic or of historical importance or a portrait or even a detailed scene illustrating some part of everyday life. But a haystack? Not just once, but many times, in differing lights. And maybe that's our first clue. For Monet was not painting objects. Like many painters as they progress, he did not dwell on turning out illustrations of objects, but rather on shapes. Painting shapes allows us to give equal weight to all the variations within our scene. As Monet said, to see, we must forget the name of the thing we are looking at. For example, the shadow under the foremost haystack is a shape, and so is the shaft of light sneaking through between the haystacks. The sky is a shape. The main haystack is really just a couple of shapes, the remaining ones another. Defining these shapes allows us to more clearly show dark and light, warm and cool, saturation and desaturation, or whatever other terms you might employ to describe the visual components of a painting. Because what Monet is really doing, and I know this may be obvious to many, is he is painting the light. He is painting the passages of light, the reflections of light, the silhouettes created by light, and the gold and bluer hues of this particular light, this sunset. Looking at it now, we see three shafts of light on the ground and a beautiful golden pink, light blue passages of light within the sky. The haystacks and trees are mere aids to showing that light. The ground is itself a mere canvas on which to show dark, gold, bright highlights and colour. So the question, why haystacks, has actually missed the point. The haystacks were never the subject, despite the title. The haystacks are simply a foil to show off the light. Monet painted this type of scene at various times of the day and year, allowing us to have a full experience of how haystacks interact with all the different kinds of light they experience. And in so doing, we don't have multiple pictures of haystacks, we have multiple pictures of light. Monet painted around 25 of these and showed off 15 all at once at an exhibition in 1891. Examples of other times of the day include grain stacks in the sunlight, morning effect, in which the bright morning light is casting deep shadows and the haystacks are lit by full sun. And haystacks midday, where the view is looking south into the sun, which at this time of year is not fully overhead. A haze has settled on the distant hills. Or wheat stacks, end of summer, where the lengthening shadows presage not only the evening, but the cool shadows tell us that winter is on its way. A similar scene, but in the morning, with grain stacks, white frost effect. These paintings all around Giverny, where he now lived, remind artists everywhere that you don't need to travel great distances to see great subjects. These are exactly the scenes you see within a short walk of his house. He was led to paint these because they were nearby, near to the home he had just moved into and where he would begin painting his water lilies. And now into winter, with grain stacks in the morning, snow effect. As we listen to each of these titles, the word effect keeps appearing. Effect of what? Effect of the light. Back to our main painting. The time of day gives us golden yellows, but the painting as a whole has a colour harmony that you may not even notice. The reason being that nothing jars. Nothing pulls us away from that golden pink light. Everything is warmed, the greens tending yellow, the shadow side of the stack tending red, even the deepest cast shadow on the left having some light violet warmth. As well as light, Monet has imbued the entire canvas with evening atmosphere, the light being filtered for us in ways we barely see but nevertheless recognise. The repeating diagonals add strength, the repetition of haystacks adding depth, the distant trees stopping us from exiting right out of the painting. The shadows mirror these diagonals, but at their own angle. Like all of the Impressionists, Monet used visible brushstrokes, and again like other Impressionists, he painted outdoors. 
The visible strokes are not only exciting and lively, but they arise out of necessity. If you are painting outside light, you need to be quick. As any en plein air painter finds, light changes quickly as the sun moves. Monet said, the light constantly changes, and that alters the atmosphere and beauty of things every minute. So why haystacks? Because they provide a foil for the light, creating atmosphere and beauty every minute. Do you see it? Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please press like. If you want to be notified when I put out more reactions to great art, please subscribe. See you next time.